welcome to the channel. So I made the 20 mile ride all the way south because of the fish I found in practice. We had a cold front blow in overnight and couldn't get them to bite. The shad were stacked so tight it was impossible to find the trees that I had marked. And then you see even then the wind kicked up big time so all in all it was a huge mistake. I stayed down there a little too long before moving to my next spot which was just full of largemouth bass and didn't help at all anyways. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and help me out. And welcome to the Wolfpack family. abandoned going by the dam paid off yesterday horrible day might have cost us the tournament too because we didn't catch nothing literally all dinks so i found this spot in practice this one around this corner and then you'll see later on another one around the next corner but this one is where I was catching most of them on these couple trees. There was literally nothing on the trees. So I went around to a few of them and I was like, man, I got to make the next move. And it was the right move. get into my last spot and I got three or four trees marked right here and I know this is my last chance here it is coming up on noon I got two hours left to fish and the magic happens I'm about to put together a bag So 
So let's pause for a minute. So I just caught that white bass, and as soon as you hook one up, you know it. They pull much harder than a crappie. So knowing that, when I hooked this giant crappie, he instantly pulled hard. I just knew it was another white bass. Boy, how lucky I was I didn't lose this fish. My line was tangled, but I didn't even really care to get the fish in quick, so I took my time. Then when I got him up to the surface, I went to boat flip him and realized at the same time, oh my god, it's a giant. He then hits the boat, and I have to grab the line, and he still doesn't come off. I should have lost this fish three or four times. Check out the clip and hit that subscribe button. We're gonna make a run for it. And if we can keep this up, might have a chance. believe
two minutes left. Mm, that one hurt. That fish definitely would have helped. Well, see how we did. At this point, I have no idea how much weight I actually have. I didn't weigh any of the fish, and I only had one good one. Three little ones gonna kill me. Two thirty. It's big motherfucker. Go. Good. <laughs> but I got two one pounders. Uh. Hey man, put that, you put that back yesterday. Oh no, tell me about that. Dang it, boy. Nah, not that much. Maybe on their scale. Like 2.30. But I have two one-pounders. Twenty-two. Don't be close. Yeah, he is a short, stout one. No, I had two little. I mean, I had two little ones. Oh yeah, yeah. That's your big one. Yeah. Yeah, he's got some shoulders on him. He's going. Surely, surely he's going over two thirty-eight. Two two thirty-eight. Hang on. Two thirty. Hang on. Two thirty eight. There's no way. Damn. There's no way. What is it? Huh? Can you take a reweight? What did you say it was? Two thirty? We caught the only blacks we caught was about that big. Really? I think we Ten, sixteen. <coughs> yeah, sure. Ten, sixteen, or something. Thank you. Call me. And Kelly Broadway. They asked me about this. And Mike and Kelly are also the winners of the tournament. Five thousand dollars for the tournament. <laughs> Moving along, uh, second place with a total weight of 1242, Darren Lee and Keith Acker. $3,000 for second place. Shabby. Probably be like five or Thank you. There's 80 boats right there. Just cover them. Turn your truckers around. Y'all got them turned around back. They don't hold them often. They don't hold them, man. Yeah. 
Third place, Mr. Kyle Williams. Kyle Williams had 11.41, and uh, he fished by himself. Congratulations, you get two. Third place is going to pay Kyle two thousand dollars. Yeah. I know. Like Hold on, man. <laughs> 1140. Go Jesus! <laughs> Congratulations, Kyle. Thanks for coming, dude. Thanks, man. Amen. All right, fourth place with a total weight of 1133. And the winner of $1,000 is Richard Falk. Fifth place. With a total weight of 1021, Judson Smith and Robert Hickman. $500. All right, sixth place. 1016 with a 234 big fish. Nick DeWolf. All by himself. Thanks, sir. Thank you, sir. Nick, you win 200 bucks. Come on. This cat ran his boat in places this morning. I didn't know you could put a boat this time of year. Let it roll. <laughs> I got insurance. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> you got life insurance. Right. I can swim too. Seventh place. Well, guys, if you made it this far to the video, I appreciate it. If you would, hit that like and subscribe. It was a crazy day. This tells you don't give up. And we didn't, we didn't have anything in the boat. It seemed like where fish were all you know yesterday and two weeks ago where i went and pre-fished nothing nothing and so and i wasted so much time in those spots and then i you know just come up on that one tree and like it was loaded but hey everything worked out just fine we cut a check on to the next one appreciate y'all tuning in thank you